All right, we're not happy with the last one. And since I'm putting them on YouTube, I'm going to redo it. So, okay. Living God series number seven. Part seven. There we go. And this is about detoxifying your broken ship. And that's the name of this one, the broken ship. There's three parts. It's going to be the broken ship, and that's detoxifying. Then the second one is going to be how to build muscles. And the third one is uh, how to uh, get nutrition into your body so you can uh, have superpowers like the vegan people in the Scott Pilgrim movie. You know what I'm saying? So in the last one, we were talking about how people... Uh, are not where they really need to be at. So uh, say they have all of them lit up, even seven. So they're shining beacon. And then you have some people who are kind of lit up and they are not so bright. They're just kind of dim. And that's where most people are getting to now that are learning this kind of stuff. And then you have some people that are completely broken. Like their one is broken, their two is broken. Uh, they got a large three, their uh, four is broken five is uh small uh four can be small uh six could be broken and then you got seven that does not exist so people are coming in with a pretty bad ship so they want to get their ship to where it needs to be so we're just gonna draw a little ship real quick and it's a broken ship it's still on the earth and you got this antenna it's kind of bent and crooked all right so first thing you want to do when you're uh, checking your ship to clean it, you want to clean your like your valves and your pumps and stuff like that. So you can make sure all the energy is going to flow through it well and nice. And that's going to be the lymph, uh, the lymphatic, the lymphatic system in the body. So the lymphatic system pretty much sits on top of your muscles and it has no pump so you use that pump or to use the pump you got to be active and you got to move your body because your muscles are going to push that up all the way into kind of your chest cavity and that's when it gets re-entered into the heart to go through your bloodstream to go to the gi tract basically and that's where the body detoxifies is using the lymphatic system uh, it has your spleen which is like a house for all of your like white blood cells and stuff. So if you like really get your lymphatic system, you can just do the lymphatic real quick. If you have some in your like elbows and they go up to your chest, you got some in your elbows and they go up to your chest. You got some from your feet all the way up and this is like the lymph uh, lymphatic system. And it's like this web that goes across your body that picks up all the extra moisture in your body that's coming out of your blood and leaking from your organs if you have like leaky gut you know that's what that's talking about so your lymphatic system and then it goes into your gi tract to exit the body so the gi tract that's going to be like your colon your your intestines i'll draw these a little bit darker your stomach, your esophagus, and then you got your mouth. So your mouth actually has a lymphatic organ, and that would be your tonsils. That's why people's tonsils get swollen sometimes. It's because all this bacteria in the mouth is getting stuck in this fluid, and because it's not going anywhere because the lymphatic is clogged, then that's uh, when... Um, those get inflamed and they have too much and uh, people get them removed. But that's like your warning call. That's like your body's warning call that there's too much bacteria entering into the system, which can say that a lot of your fluid is backed up or not moving. And that's, uh, I believe, how tumors kind of form is that it's this lymphatic uh, fluid stops moving and it begins to get this plaque and this mucus and kind of builds. And so your body sends all this these fighters basically to combat it and then they cover it and they swarm it because they want to remove it from the body and it would be like pushing it back to dissolve i guess and some type of fluid or something to it so it could pass uh, safely through the uh, stomach and be exited from the body so yeah basically you don't want to be stagnant you want uh, i'm gonna draw a new person there's uh, two main body parts you really want to get moving 
on a daily basis to help this lymphatic lymphatic system move to push it out of your skin and to excrete it from your body all the toxins that are sitting in yourself and on top of your um, muscles it's crazy to think how much cleaning products are toxifying people and i was watching this video i think it was like muna luca and they were talking about how um some household cleaners are just as deadly as smoking like 12 cigarettes like a pack of cigarettes so that should just let you know that if you're using any like household cleaning items uh, to read those instructions because if you're using it wrong you're putting a, a lot of toxins into your body and if you're just a regular person and you're just wiping your de like desk down all the time with the chemicals and you're just sitting there and your hands on the table you're putting amounts like a lot of toxins into your body uh so you want to cut that out. So uh, the main points of exit are the buildups of the lymphatic um, fluid that could get clogged. They're going to sit kind of in your groin area and then your chest. So you want to do a lot of squats. You know, you want to do a lot of hip uh, exercises to get the, these muscles to push onto that lymphatic cyst, uh, fluid to move up the vessels uh, so it can get released. Same for your chest. You wanna do a lot of chest rotations. You wanna do a lot of deep breathing with your diaphragm to help push that fluid into your your exits. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you get a lot of it out through your colon and your uh, urinary tract, but there's also coming out of your chest. So uh, it's funny and it's happened to me. I'm, I'm I'm actually on a lymphatic cleanse uh, for these like next two weeks. I'm just like working on that itself. Uh, so I started off with like a kidney one. So either way, I took cleavers, and that is something that helps um, with the lymphatic system. And when I washed my chest this morning, there was so it was like this. I, you could see you. It, it feel like I was like rubbing off skin on my chest, but it, I could tell it's it basically dirt. This like grit and toxins coming out of my chest that never I never really noticed and I don't want I say it's the herbs but it's, it's getting it out either way it's getting it out so I applaud it George I'm not afraid of it that's awesome it's awesome that's coming out it's getting out of those uh places those deep places that is, I don't even know how long it's been there you know what I'm saying so that's awesome so now we want to talk a little bit about the GI track so now we're going to draw one more person yeah, get her out. So now you got uh, the GI tract. So you got your mouth, you got that esophagus, and it goes into your stomach. Something about your stomach is that if it does not know what's going in, does it come out through the digestive at all? Yes, it does. Um, it, it goes through um, your bloodstream. So the fluid pretty much gets pumped back into your bloodstream at the lowest point and then that's what happens okay so you got your uh, stomach if it doesn't know what's going into it it's just gonna turn into body fat so what you want to do is eat natural foods because your body recognizes natural foods and then it'll use the appropriate uh, mechanisms to break it down and then to reabsorb it into your body uh, you got to think of your stomach kind of like a blender uh, the blender is not going to stop. The blender is not going to stop until all the chunks are broken down. So if you keep putting extra big chunks in there all the time, it's not going to drain into the rest of your system because it has like just one flushing system. It's going to it's going to come out. And if you keep adding, it's gonna just delay and delay. So you're just gonna keep digesting. So your body takes a lot of blood to digest food. So if you are not giving your, if you're exercising and still digesting food, if you're using a lot of brain energy and you're still uh, digesting food, it's just a strain on your body. You're taking so much blood out of the places, out of your hands, out of your feet, out of your uh, armpits, out of your eyelids, all that stuff. And you're going to become tired and fatigued so you don't want that to happen so um, you want to keep that blender going fast 
And a way to do that is to uh, not drink uh, while you're eating, or at least like ice cold things while you're eating or snacking throughout the day because you're just gonna keep turning on that blender. Some things uh, digest pretty fast, so you can look those up. This is just like for common sense, uh, but those are the process processes for that. So then it goes into your colon area. It's like this holding room for your intestines. And then your colon, that's when a lot of the stuff is gonna, and then you got your small intestines. And then this process is where it gets broken down into a place to where it can get reabsorbed into the body. All right. And then you poop it out or you pee it out. So you want to have both of those systems working. You want to have this one working first and then that. So you're going to uh, really, the first way to clean your ship is to make sure all the valves are working. So you want to get that body moving. You want to see what's working and what's not. And you want to pump all that fluid through your body. And then you want to drink a lot of water because this is through more, or 30% more water than uh, your blood system has, your blood is. You have more, you have three times as much, I don't know what the figure is. You have a lot more lymphatic fluid than blood in your, in your body. So you want to push all that lymphatic system fluid to work well. And then you're going to get it all into your digestive tract so you can get it out of your body or through sweat sweat is also and also bad breath is a way for all this stuff to work in your body so you can clean it and detoxify your body and then uh part two is about the muscles